So in this video we're going to model this tension. So first of all we have to create the points for the handrail and the mid rail location. There we go. Now we can create the actual stanchion. So a bar 48.3, give it the name stanchion. Place it in the center, front view. And there we go. Next will be to create the plate, a little base plate. Change position, side view. Then we see, oh, some points are missing, so we'll quickly create those. Total width, divide by two. There go some points. And we'll create some more. Like that we have both the plate size and the bolt location in one shot. Now we have the location for our plate. And the next one we would like to create some balls on these tensions. So there's a special profile called Kugel BT. And we'll just change the diameter and create in two locations. Since the stanchion will be one single element, we we'll have to make sure that all the components are adapted to each other. Oh, by the way, we can add some holes while we're at it. Two locations in the plate inside view. That's done. So now we can finally punch the balls through the stanchion like that and merge the various components. You see that I pick the stanchion first so we maintain the main properties of that stanchion and not the other components. And as we can see now it's a single component. But well the properties are not really great yet so we'll have to edit them. That can be done with the merge tool. So we'll pick up the properties first. That's indeed the ID number, and we see the current properties and change those, the bar, for example, to STMSP. So this is the name we'll see in the bill of material. The height, the width will also be indicated, as well as the weight. And this will have a fixed weight for our bill of material. Just confirm the box with OK and it's actually already done. And as we can see with the info member, it, all the properties are OK now. And let's just quickly have a look at that when that gives on screen. And there we go. Indeed, designation is correct. Mm -hmm. 